Hi, I'm Tom Summers with the Diner Realty. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'd like to talk about downsizing and specifically about baby boomers downsizing. This is becoming a bigger and bigger issue now as we move forward because more and more people are getting to the point where they're ready to retire. They want to downsize from their large four and five bedroom homes into something smaller and more manageable with less upkeep. There's lots of different choices if you're a baby boomer thinking about making this switch, but I'm going to talk about the two most popular choices right now, which are condominiums and townhomes. One of the things that they share the same is an association. The association charges a fee every month, and that fee covers a variety of things from hazard insurance to sewer and water, lawn and snow care, uh, garbage, as well as exterior maintenance, but they, they vary from, from place to place depending on the situation. Typically with a condominium, you will find that the association fees are going to be a little bit higher than with a townhome, but you also get some benefits sometimes like heat is included and other amenities that you wouldn't find in a townhome. The one downside that I've seen from people that are moving from a larger home into a, a condo is that the condos have all of the upgrades you could ever want. You can find them 2,000 plus square feet, three bedrooms, three baths, so that's never the issue, but there's never a lot of storage. You usually get one small storage shed and then you get either one or two stalls for your car to park underground. So there's not a lot of room to take a lot of extra stuff with you that will go beyond whatever you're keeping in the rooms that you're living in. So it's something to consider because it's very hard to move from a home you've lived in for 20, 30 years when you've accumulated all of this stuff and go, okay, what do we keep? What do we get rid of? With regards to a townhome, the one advantage to that that I've found is you have so much storage. Because they're built in such a way where you have a lower level more often than not, there's always a considerable amount of space that's unfinished for storage. This has been a really big deal for a lot of different people. They want that storage so they can slowly weed through everything and get rid of stuff as they go. The big difference for me with a townhome versus a condo is that you can get all of the living on one level, but you also feel in a lot of those cases like you're still kind of in a home more so than living in an apartment. A lot of people like the one level living where everything is on that one level, but then they also have the finished lower level with typically a third bedroom, a third bathroom, and then a family room. So if you had guests coming over or you wanted to have a holiday or a party, you've got more than enough room to accommodate that. Both those as well as the condos come in all shapes and sizes, square footage, and price ranges. So it's never a hard thing to find what you want. But as the demand starts to increase, the supply will diminish because there aren't as many townhomes that are one-story townhomes, at least in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area, as there are the two and three stories with a basement where there's a lot more stairs. So the biggest thing to consider before you make this move is to get out and take a good look at what's out there to see if there are things that fit for you and at the same time do your numbers financially so you know where you're going to end up after you sell your home but also what your monthly cost is going to be. In many cases even if that monthly fee is $300 from the association if you really sit down and take a good hard look at the cost of owning the home that you own right now you might find that $300 is actually less per month than it costs you to live in the home that you're at. Especially Especially when you factor in snow and lawn care along with the homeowner's insurance which is included in the hazard or is hazard insurance and it's included in the association. So those are some of the basic tips of what to look for. There's also a lot of different types of townhomes that you can find that can still all be one level. They can be quads, they can be in a row. There's a lot of different descriptions on the MLS of what these homes are. So you want to sit down with your real estate agent ahead of time and really talk about the important things that you're looking for before you make a move. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call or email me. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. And if you want some more information on association fees, just look on my real estate website page for YouTube. It's called Realtorology, and there's other videos that I've made that go into more depth. Thanks so much for taking a few moments of your day to watch this. I hope it's been helpful. If you have any questions, again, just give me a call or send me an email. Thanks, and have a great day.